Welcome back to the channel everybody and welcome if it's your first time. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Just recently got back from Spirit Halloween and purchased this. This is the Scary Flying Ghost. See if it tracks me. I got my DJI Osmo Pocket 2 on this tracking me. This is a Scary Flying Ghost. It's for indoor and outdoor use. Uh, this thing was only $19.99. It's sound activated. It's got a long cable that's included and you basically can put it between like two posts and it's going to fly back and forth. Now, I've already opened it just to make sure that it included what it's supposed to inside, but I'm going to do a little unboxing for you guys so you can see what it's like. We'll hook it up and just check it out. So this is what the ghost looks like up close. There's a little shot of it. Just going to twirl this around for you. As you can see, it looks like a traditional ghost. It's got the um, white and black colors on it. It does take a few batteries. It's got the battery installations on the back here. You just remove the back and then um, place a couple of batteries. It looks like it's three double A batteries, if you can see that. So we'll make sure that we get the batteries in there, get it activated, see what it sounds like. This would be a cool little addition for Halloween 2024. So let's go ahead and open it up here. Let's take the top of the box. Let's open it up, see what it looks like inside. Got the long uh, cable rope included here. And I think it says it's about two feet long, so pretty good length here. You could definitely set this up in between uh, two trees, two posts that you have. You could even put it inside of your house if you wanted to, but there's a look at the face. Like I said, it looks like a traditional ghost there. It's kind of got this little knob on the top. And here's your rope. Swing it around here. So just switched it up a little bit. Came into the bedroom so you can take a better look at this. Got a little bit better lighting in this room. So this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and just take this off here. You can see it just has this little portion right here. This is where the sound comes out. It's got some holes there and it's got some um, batteries that'll go in here it's got an off and on button and so we'll just go ahead and put some batteries in here put this back together and then we'll see how it sounds and then i'll hook it up to see how it looks so it does have a uh, little mechanism that locks the battery cover so you just need like a little tiny screwdriver i just got a little bitty one here i'm going to use this to Unlock this here, take the battery compartment off. There we go, got that loose. And then once you have that unscrewed, you're just going to pop this little piece off, make sure you don't lose your little screw there. And then it's got three AA batteries that it takes and I have some batteries right here. So we'll go ahead and pop them in here. There's one. Make sure you put the positive and negatives on the right side. There we go, got all three of them. And then we're just gonna put our little battery compartment back. Let's go ahead and screw this back in, make sure it's nice and tight. There you go. So just looking at the little instructions that came with this here. So it does say you want to make sure that you keep the cable perfectly horizontal because if you don't, then the scary flying ghosts may run poorly or stop. So we'll make sure we keep it horizontal. It's got a three way switch, which I showed here uh, with the off and on buttons. So it does say that you can have the ghost on with no sounds you can have it off or you can have it on with the creepy sounds and it is sound activated. You can clap your hands or make a loud uh, noise 
to begin the flying action. So that's pretty cool. If you want to be a little bit far away and just you know make a noise or clap your hands, it'll it'll start going back and forth there for you. Make sure you keep the cable free of debris, leaves, twigs, and all of your normal stuff here. So I just came outside right now. I'm going to set it up between two posts that I have in the front yard and we'll see what it sounds like once it's activated. So this is a spot where I'm going to set up the ghost. Just want to see how it looks. Give it a little try before Halloween. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take this rope apart. So we can get this thing hung up. It looks like it's pretty good length here. I don't know the exact length on it, but it looks like it's pretty long. So that's what it looks like. Got it all untangled there. Here's the rope. So it just has this little hook right here that you're going to put around your post. So I just have this hooked right here and then I'm going to hook it up on the other side so we can get it set up. And this is the second little latch that I got hooked up here. The rope is pretty long. I had to wrap this one around a couple times you can see. I don't know exactly how long it is but I want to say it's probably at least maybe 10 to 12 feet of rope that you have so it's a good length. This is what our little ghosty looks like. Just come over so you can see the full thing set up. I'm going to turn it on and we'll check it out. hot out here so I just had the ghost in the on position with the sounds so as you can see it went back and forth and I believe it'll just keep doing that forever until you stop it or turn it off right now it's on with no sounds so it should just go back and forth without making any of the sounds all right I know that's a little close up but I had to get the camera rigged up in the way so that you can hear me clap so I'm not holding the camera it's on the tripod I'm a clap let's see if it starts Look at that. Isn't that awesome? All it needs is that little sound activation from the clap and it automatically start going. Now I don't know if it stops if we clap again, but we'll give it a try here and see. Let me see if I clap. No, it doesn't look like it. So we'll just manually turn it off here. So I just redid it. As you can see, I didn't have the rope that tight. It was dipping a little bit and it, it did stop a few times on me. So this is what it looks like when you got it nice and horizontal. So let's give it a go again. Just coming out to the backyard it is absolutely a scorcher out here today let me just take a little seat so that was a uh, pretty cool I, I really like that little scary flying ghost like I said if you're looking for that you can go to spirit Halloween uh, I'm sure you can probably go to spirithalloween.com I got it in one of my local spirit Halloween stores but uh, for 20 bucks that's not bad you can actually get a couple of them put them in between trees uh, the only thing that I wish it had is it doesn't have any type of light, so it's not illuminated. Obviously, on Halloween, it's going to be dark, so I'm thinking about maybe getting some type of little light to, to put in there so that you can just see it. But during the day, you can definitely see it really well. I really hope you guys like that little video, just putting that little scary ghost together. That was pretty cool. The best way to support the channel is actually by watching the full length of my videos from beginning to end. It shows YouTube that... 
you like the video because you watched it and then it'll push it out to others that want to see content similar to this i recently went to a spirit halloween in the tpc uh, stone oak area in san antonio so i have that video coming out soon but make sure that you like and subscribe if you like this content and i will see you guys in the next video